Pimpin', baby. Big Pimpin' Baby on the Stogie Geeks four-year anniversary show. That's right. We're here in studio. I'm Paul Asadorian, joined by my illustrious co-host, Mr. William Cooper. Welcome, Will, to our in. You're in studio. I'm, I'm very excited I, I, about this. I am in studio, and um, you know, this is the first time I've been in the new studio, and this is amazing. Is all I gotta say. Amazing. And I have to say, you did not plan your costume accordingly. Um, maybe we have to continue. We drill a hole in the front of it so you can smoke. Uh, I, I got a uh, real problem here. Is Stogie you did Vader? Not. I I can smoke in my costume. And, uh, th- this is gonna be a temper. Because it's gangster. That's right, gangster. But but you know in. in <laughs> I'll say, you know, I do try to plan on Stogie Geeks for shows and on Cigar Group. This was, there was no planning here. It was about an hour before I was going to bed to catch my flight up here the next morning and basically went on a frantic run to figure out some Halloween costume. And obviously, I didn't do very well. <laughs> yeah, try harder next time, yeah. will you? Yeah, because now you have to take that mask off to be able to smoke your fabulous cigar that I gave you. Yep. Which is uh, these are these are awesome. We're actually we don't smoke a lot of Cubans. No, we don't on the show. Um, nor do we smoke a lot of Cuban cigars on the show either. But um, <laughs> this is the Cohiba uh, Genios Maduro, and uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty big ring gauge actually for a for a Cuban cigar. What would you say this is a fifty two? Will at least this is a this is 52 this may be a fifty four. Yeah, this, this may be a fifty four. I it's funny because last night I I was with Stogie Santa who will be joining us later a couple times today. And we smoked a Cohiba Lancero and then a number four. So I've been, for the past 12 to 18 hours. You've been strictly Cohiba cigar diet. Oh, it's been great. Yeah, and this is is smoking fantastic right now. Mm. You're right, we don't smoke a lot of, but you know, now that it's getting, steps have been taking place. We can we can get Cuban cigars legally now. No, that's no. what everyone. Sa- that's what everyone tells me. says. No, you you cannot. It's you it's funny. You know, Steve Saka made a post about what's your favorite Connecticut, and uh, a lot of people were posting uh, they like to smoke Cuban cigars in the morning, because they're they're somewhat mild. I mean, they're not overly strong for the most part. I mean, not to make a huge generalization, but I just did. But for the most part, they're pretty medium bodied and they have good flavor and they make a good morning smoke. So I, I can totally. Relate to that. The problem is I I get them in such small quantities that when I get one that I like to smoke in the morning, it's gone. Like there's no San Cristobal de la Habana. No. Is that is that what it's called? No. Um, yeah. The de la Habana. What's the de la Habana one? The name escapes me. Mark it's, Jr. It's gave a, me my first one and it, it was like crap. in the morning, dude. yeah. Um, the La Punta size is the one that I like. Yes, I'm sure the chat room is going crazy. Like you, you correcting know the inter- me. The interesting. I don't have the chat room on my tablet though. I should probably have done that before the show, but we don't really plan much. We just kind of show up and smoke did, cigars. Yeah, that was kind of my. That was the you know that's the mission behind the show is to show up and smoke cigars, and I think we accomplish that mission every week. So. We did, we do, and we're here today. It's four years, um, and we'll kind of get into a little of the four years. Um, I think the most important thing, and we're, it's going to be a theme throughout the show, is we, we did this last year. This show we're doing in support of Cigar Rights of America, and we're gonna we're gonna talk. If you, if you, in over the past couple of weeks, this is something really coming to the forefront. What we're asking every person in our audience to do, we're asking for 100 percent participation. Go to www.cigarrights.org. Either sign up or renew your membership. Or do a lifetime membership. Do the lifetime. Do the lifetime. Do if you do any do of those three they things. They send you all kinds of stuff when you do a lifetime. Yeah. If you do any of those three things and use the uh, my ambassador code of 0159, send me a screenshot to the 0159 show. ambassador code for Will Cooper. Sign up for CRA, yep. cigarrights.org. Yep. I will, and what I, are you going to send them, Will? I'll send them another cigar. Which kind of cigar? Something out of my personal humidor. Okay, not my Cohiba Genios. No, but I may go into the <laughs> Acidorian humidor in, his, in, in, his, in the office in the back. Which, so we have a show humidor, which yes, has a very a show, good qual- The show humidor has the, the review cigars in it on one half, and it has the uh, prizes on the other half, so that I don't get confused and smoke the prizes, yeah. which it happens occasionally. But then I have a, in another humidor that's just my, like, not review, not prizes if Paul's personal smokes. Yeah, and, and I, I found that this morning. <laughs> when yeah, I, I didn't going, tell him about it yesterday. Pop, yeah, you didn't talk about it yesterday, but that was a big mistake. Because <laughs> he was like, oh, there's this whole other humidor that we can smoke from. 
Yeah, exactly. And that's what we'll be smoking from today. Probably. Exactly. So. Although we got some LFD scars that John Carney gave us that we're going to smoke. Yep. Carna. We got some of Victor's uh, cigars we're going to smoke. Yep. I we're going to smoke good. a lot of cigars today. Yep. And yesterday we went through the blending seminar. Holy crap, was that a lot of smoking. Yeah. That was awesome. That was fun. So what we did was we went through the Manuela Noah from La Aurora. He's the master blender for La Aurora. We went through his blending kit. Now, we have the seminar. It's uh, on sale. Is it 401 401- Two eight seven forty two fifty. Havana Cigar Club. You could Google. <laughs> Sorry. No, Tom. that's no. It's four zero one. Oh, it is a number. Okay. Two eight seven forty two fifty. I'm pretty sure because I said it like eighteen times when we did the recording yesterday. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, call Havana Cigar Club. So you get this kit, and it comes with four Peritos. They're the four filler tobaccos that are inside of the Preferitos blend, which are Peruvian, Brazilian, Nicaraguan, and Dominican. Yep. Good. good. Um, and then you get a Preferito number three in the Cameroon wrapper. Then you get a Churchill with the, all those same fillers in it, and um, the end is uh, it doesn't have a wrapper on it, so you get to experience just binder and filler. Then you smoke through all of the different wrappers on the Preferitos. This should be a trivia question. All the different wrappers being Connecticut Maduro, Corojo, Connecticut, Bra- Brazil, not Brazilian, no, Connecticut. Uh, Conne- no, there's Brazilian. Connecticut, Man- Corojo, Cameroon. Cameroon. What am I missing? Broadleaf. I said broadleaf. Um, broadleaf. Uh, is Sumatra. There a, a broadleaf and a regular Maduro? That's the Brazilian. Is the Brazilian Maduro. Yep, yep, okay. Yep. And uh, Sumatra was the other Sumatra. one. Sumatra. Right. We got them all. We yep. got them all. So all of those wrappers are on the Churchill size cigar. We didn't actually smoke the Churchill size. So put it this way. It took Will and I almost two hours to smoke the four Peritos in that little Cameroon. Yep. It's probably going to take you another hour and a half to smoke that Churchill. So there's a lot of smoking time. So for 50 bucks, you get that whole kit. You get the DVD. You get the slide presentation from Manuel. Um, you get all of those materials, and it's a great deal. Yep. It's a great deal. Yep. Before, we, I want to just give a shout-out to – our buddy Croc, who drove all the way from New Hampshire, three hours to be here for the four-year anniversary. Thank you show. very much. Thank you Brian. very much, Croc. Yes. And and we're gonna give you some cigars today. So this guy doesn't want to take any cigars, but we really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Well, if you want to give us cigars, we'll take. He already did. Oh, <laughs> that's right. We got to give you back some cigars. Too. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So. Um, Oh, you want let's talk about I don't want to talk about the rating system. I know you want to be all nostalgic and talk about how No, we no, got and here, I think it's very I think it's very I'm like very Bill Bill Belichick, who we just won seven and oh. Um but I'm very Bill Belichick <laughs> about how we do the podcast, right? Yeah. Like we, after we complete a podcast, I'm like, okay, what are we doing on the next podcast? So like I'm on to the next game already. So I don't like to, you know, sit and be no, nostalgic and, and go and back. And I think that's a fair thing and you know it's more fun for me to press forward and do more, better, and different things. This is evidenced by this. I mean, we built this set yesterday. Um, you, you know, the wall was completed last week. So we actually, folks may recognize this wall. We had to actually move the wall from the other area to this area. And it was so big that we had to take it all apart and then put it all back together <laughs> piece by piece. Yeah. Um, so we recreated the wall here in the new studio. Uh, and then I used some of my, these chairs aren't the final. I'm actually buying some nicer chairs uh, for this set. But uh, these chairs will do for now. Careful, if you lean back, you might you might fall down. Uh, I, sp- I sat in a chair with Stogie. Uh, yeah. Stogie Sandy gave me a chair. He took the good chair because his back was You should probably bring mine. your chair up so it doesn't look like you're yeah. so short. <laughs> but That may be <coughs> not on camera. It's going to be boom. <laughs> but, no, I think our rating system, we have – you know, we've actually – there's a lot of – our audience, we have a lot of new people to our audience. And we do get asked a lot about the rating system. Um, well, what's interesting was I liked how it started out as really just five ratings. And then, right, it was uh, Lawn Mulch, Try One, Fiverr, Lip- Boxworthy, Oasis, no, right? No, no. But originally, it was just five. We never, we never had those other Wasn't it Try oh, it, it was it Try One, mul- Angler, Fiverr, Boxworthy, Oasis. It wasn't Lawn Mulch first. Lawn Mulch it, One. Lawn Mulch, lawn Try mulch one, one, Fiverr, Boxworthy, Oasis. Did I get that right? Long Mulch is one. Yeah. Angler is two. No. No, Long Mulch and Angler. Were the, oh, no, yeah, you're right. Long yeah. Mulch, Angler, Try One. No. Well, try One came later. Try it was Long Mulch, yeah, so let's go. Angler, Box, no. Fiverr, Boxworthy, Oasis. Yeah. yeah. yeah Angler, yeah, yeah. Fiverr, Boxworthy, and then, Oasis. And then we added Try Ones, the two and a half, 
which is the try one. We added the four and a half, the Chuck Norris. We added the three and a half, the box split. So we added every number in between. I don't know if we'll add more. We, t- we talked about a Stogie Santa throw one off the boat rating. The Stogie Santa has like his own unique rating system. I think we could come up with the Stogie Santa rating system, yep. which is pretty much either throw it off the boat or Oasis. Well, I think that's the Stokey Santa rating yeah. system. But, you know, let's talk about box <laughs> no, worthy to Oasis. No, Stokey Santa's would be throw it off the boat or wet spot in my shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, would be yeah. it. That's it. Two ratings. Either I like it yeah. or I don't. Yeah. And that's it. That's it, yeah. And if I like it, there's a wet spot in my shorts. If I don't, the fish have food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, he'll be here today. Yeah, he will be here today. Oh, boy. For better well, or for worse, he'll yeah. be here today. <laughs> Probably... Sit on a few cigars and <laughs> oh, yeah. we, we trip can. over something on his way out. Yeah. But, you know, the one thing is the box worthy to o- Oasis, I think, is a very important part of our scale. We've actually, Paul and I have been trying to be real, when we go beyond box worthy, we're trying to be real discriminatory on that. Um, so, you know, I look at it like this. When you go up to the Oasis rate, you know, we, we do factor price into the Stogie Geeks rating. So when you get up to box where it's well, you're going to spend your money to make that purchase. Right. Now, when you go to Oasis, I kind of look at it's crawl across the desert, broken glass to get it. But we found, I guess, I guess you guys found there was something in between that. And that's mm-hmm. where the Chuck Norris rating mm-hmm. came into play. Like this cigar right here, my rating would be Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. And that's your rating too? Yes. Glad we're on the same page. Yeah, no, I'd have it, to beat you with my cane. No. <laughs> You know, it's funny because when I kind of joined the show, I I moved the Stogie Geeks ratings over to Coop. And the one I was kind of, I don't know about this Chuck Norris rating. Like, I'm like, it's kind of cheesy. How could you not like the Chuck Norris rating? Because I'm the straight lace, you know, maybe even a straight lace guy. What's wrong with Chuck Norris? I just, I didn't know. Superman wears Chuck Norris pajamas. But (laughs) what I discovered, it was our most popular one. Like, because it's Chuck Norris, dude. It's Chuck Norris, <laughs> and it was it was unique, you know. Like, no one. Yes, had, yes. And, and now when I hear manufacturers refer, refer to the fact they got the Chuck Norris rating, right? Or it's the Oasis, seeped rate, it's into a big, the culture. Yeah. A lot of people have tried to uh, duplicate it or come up with variations on the theme, but we have the original unique rating system because when I started the podcast, I was like, I do not like the way cigars are rated. I'm like. I refuse to have a podcast where I rate cigars that talks about 91, 92. I'm like, I, yeah. I just don't get it. I, I, I didn't get it. I'm like, I want to tell people what I think about the cigar. And more importantly, I want to tell them what to do. Like what, it, Cause that's what people are after. Yep. Right. I mean, people that watch cigar podcasts or videos and listen to podcasts and read the blogs. I mean, I, I was that person before I started my own. So I was the consumer before I was the content creator. Yep. And for me, I was like, I want to know what I should do with the cigar. Should I buy the cigar? Should I not buy the cigar? Right? That's why I'm reading the ratings a lot of times. I mean, yes, you do read and consume the cigar content for different reasons, education being one of them. Um, Learn about the manufacturer and the history of the cigar. Learn about the flavors, uh, taste, and all that. That's very interesting. We're going to talk a lot about that today. Yeah, yeah. Um, But more importantly, like, I want to know, should I spend my hard-earned money on this cigar? What did everyone think of it? And I wanted a rating system that accurately reflected the actions that we recommend consumers (coughs) should take on it. And I think we came up with a very fair system, too. I mean, aside with the angle and throw it off the boat, look, there's very few cigars that we we, we rate that because I want to be telling you about cigars that you should smoke. Yeah. And, you know, whatever. If, you know, know, say about that what you will. But um, I tend to, when I review cigars, well, I I do. I choose the ones that I like because those are the ones I want to recommend to all of our listeners, subscribers, friends, and what have you. It's the same thing when... You know, Mark Jr. and Stogie Santa and I would get together, you know, before there was a Stogie Geeks. That's what we do, right? We talk about, hey, what cigars did you smoke that were good, right? Yep. And occasionally, like, yeah, I smoked and it was awful, so maybe we should stay away from that one. Or this one needed time and things like that. But also, we do come back and revisit some ratings as well. And we do I reflect that in our ratings, which was another one of my frustrations was, like, how is this cigar going to do over time? Like, right now, it might be a fiver. But then it might progress to Boxworthy, and then it might be like Chuck Norris for him. And I try and tell people about the ones that I think, hey, right now I think this cigar is Boxworthy. Right. But I think over time this has the potential to be an oasis, and I think that's important as well. Which is a problem I've seen with the brand owners and manufacturers. When they get that 90, 93, mm-hmm. 94 rating, they don't say when the, a lot of them, I don't want to say all of them, a lot of them won't say, a lot of that could be from four years ago. Right. Vintages of tobacco could we change. We don't have a lighter on set. Yeah, we do. 
I just happen uh, to have it here. <laughs> we're only the stogie geeks. We got like one lighter in the whole studio. Uh, oh, I lost uh, all my lighters. I, I, I don't know what happened. There were tons of lighters here when I was up here last time. I don't know it? what happened. To, you know, we doubled in space, so I lose my cigar all the time. I'm like, where the did I put my cigar? And they're like, where is my cutter? Where is my lighter? I, I can't find anything. Yeah. It's terrible. It's yeah. terrible. You know, the, the other important thing we'll say about um, the ratings, you know, a lot of times I'll, I'll see this feedback. I only got a fiver on my cigar. That's, we're telling someone, go buy multiple cigars. That is not a bad rating, okay? Mm. That is not a – we're telling you to buy multiples. Thank you. That's a, that's a, that should be a strong recommendation. A fiver is a good rating. A I fiver agree. is a good rating. A try one is not a bad because we're telling you to go spend your hard-earned money and try it. Right, right. Um, and we're just saying it, try one really means it wasn't a bad cigar. I just did, didn't fit my flavor, flavor profile. Yeah. Flavor or, profile? Yes, flavor, yeah. that too. <laughs> yeah, and that's a lot of it. Well, we may see it it's fits someone else's flavor profile. Right. So, yeah. you, again, you're getting fibers. That's by multiples, which is, I I think that's a, I think that's, you know, obviously not everything can be box worthy and Chuck Norris and Oasis. Um, so speaking of the education piece, I got my tablet here and on my tablet, I have 20 questions and oh. these are 20 cigar related questions broken down into two categories. One, the first one is cigar history. The second is all about tobacco plants. Yep. And, um, Will took the test before. Will scored in 85. So we're going to see if you can beat Will's score. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to ask our guests. And the three questions I got, I'd say, I'll be honest, two of them I had no answer to. The third one, I just, I don't want to say I screwed up. I should have thought, thought it through. Well, and it's multiple choice, too. So you probably should have gotten 100. That's what, well. <laughs> five, oh, five choices. <laughs> Some of the some of the potential answers are the last time Will had hair. <laughs> yeah, there's some there's some years in there, by the way. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, and there's some other funny ones in there uh, as well. So uh, yeah, I made it pretty uh, nestled in Paul's chest hair is also a potential answer, which may or may not be the correct answer. There, there is, uh, there but is. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask people these questions and give out the answers at the end of the show. Yeah, I'm gonna try and. It's going to be hard for the people answering because they're not going to know what their score. Well, I can tell them their score without telling them the answers. Well, yeah. Because I want to hold the answers to the end. We want to hold the answers to the end. We're, we're, going to, we're not going to do it to every guest. There will be some guests that we're going to – and we have a cavalcade of guests today, but we'll be doing some of these. Yeah, because it's going to take 10 or 15 minutes to go through the questions. Yeah. But when we give the answers at the end, that's really where you want to pay attention because there's a lot of great information in there, especially about the tobacco plants ones. I learned a lot. I actually went to Tobacco's University uh, and based some of my questions on some of their materials. So, uh, and there were some things in there that I didn't know. And then, of course, going through the blending seminar, all kind of you know culminating together. So that blending seminar, you can purchase for fifty dollars, four zero one two eight seven forty two fifty, and you can watch our Stogie Geek short series that we did. There's probably going to be two or three, maybe four different Stogie Geek shorts of Will and I smoking through the blending seminar. So you get to see what Will and I thought of each one of those Peritos. And I tell you what, those Peritos on their own, every single, all four of them, I would smoke from start to finish and it has fantastic flavor. It doesn't change. The flavor is the same throughout the whole Perito. Um, but they're, they're really good. One, one note on the blending kit. Um, Lyle Roars, I think, has released some more of these. Um, this one happens to have the Cameroon cigar in it i don't want to i know some of the other ones have the emerald cigar but in the this, emerald is the that is the uh sumatra Robo or sumatra it's the sumatra it's the sumatra yeah 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 ecuadorian is it ecuadorian sumatra ecuadorian or sumatran Suma sumatra ecuadorian sumatra gotcha. yeah so i'm not saying it's unique but you'll get the cameroon cigar with this one um so just keep that one in mind excellent who's our first guest today well, we're gonna um, we're gonna kick it off, and he's gonna be joining us. It's actually twelve thirty in the morning. Uh, we're gonna have our friend uh, Dave Burke from Cigar Jukebox. Oh, so he's staying up late. He's to be staying with us. up late. Uh, that guy's guy's committed. Uh, but you know, we are doing this in a couple of things. We're doing. Well, some would say he. Some would say he should be committed. But yeah, some would say he should be committed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Dave, I mean, we've we've developed a good friendship with Dave. We've each done each other's shows. Yes. Um, There's been a lot of crossing the streams. With yeah. We're, we're and gonna, not at the public urinals. Not at the public urinals. <laughs> no. 
Um, so, <laughs> and this is just the beginning. Yeah. Wait till I start drinking. Then yeah, things will really get it's interesting. Early, yeah. And then <laughs> I don't even have any liquor in my coffee. Somewhere, somewhere, a production assistant is. I lost my coffee. To the bar, my... <laughs> pour some liquor in my coffee. <laughs> but uh, someone so... took a picture on the last uh, podcast marathon I did last Friday. Uh, we did our 10 year Security Weekly right. anniversary show. And it's me sitting in front of a laptop. And on my laptop, I have the Stoey Geeks and the Hack Naked sticker. And I have my coffee. And they actually got a snapshot of me pouring booze into my coffee. And they said, This perfectly summarizes Paul Asadorian right here. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I have a cigar in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. But no, so yeah, Dave will kick it off uh, from the witching hour out in Australia. Excellent. Um, you won't right. want to well, miss that. Why don't we take a short break? We're going to get Dave on the line. We're going to come back and uh, have a conversation with Dave. We're going to talk a little bit about the laws that are being uh, have been enacted in Australia um, as this is about cigar rights today. Yep. And then we're also going to let Dave play 20 questions with the Stoey Geeks. Uh, which should be a lot of fun as well. And we may have a few other surprises for Dave. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he was asking me what we're going to cover, so we may keep a it a secret. And yeah. then <laughs> that's it. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to get Dave on the line. We'll be right back. <laughs> 